Before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon. All right. Now, let us try to filter the records based on a particular condition. For that, we have to use where clause. So let's say I want to get all the records where job title is research and development manager. So let's say if I just copy this and if I just give where job title equal to and I have to give this value in single quotes. So if I just give like this, you see this is a string and that is the reason if it is a string, you have to give that value inside single quotes, right? So if I just execute this, you see I have only two records where the job title is research and development manager. In the same way, you can also give some other operators as well. So in this case, we have used equal to operator. And let's say if I just execute only this particular statement, I can just select this and click on execute. And you see, I'm getting all these records. And let me just comment out this particular line. So for commenting out, you can just give two hyphens or two dashes. And you see, this is commented out. And if I execute this, it will only execute this particular statement. All right. And let's say this time I want that I want to get all the records where business entity ID is greater than, let's say 50. So I can just give here where business entity ID is greater than 50. And if I execute, you see, I'm getting all these records where business entity ID is greater than 50. Similarly, you can just give greater than equal to also. That means business entity ID must be greater than 50 or it can be equal to 50 as well. Click on execute and you see this time it has also selected 50. Similarly, you can give less than equal to also. So if I execute, you see it is selecting all the records till 50. So either it should be equal to 50 or less than 50. Similarly, I can use less than 50 and this time it has selected till 49. All right. So this is the way to filter all the records using where clause.